as we know in Borderlands 3, there are a ton of different farming locations, different ways of farming gear, uranium, money, whatever it may be across the board. In today's video, I'm going to go over some of my favorite farming locations. One of them, you don't have to worry about saving and quitting. You can automatically just continuously fight this boss and fight multiple of them at a time. And yes, it is a named enemy. So in today's video, that's what we're going to showcase a few of my favorite farms that are just fun to run and they do have decent loot in their loot pool. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Before we get into all these farms, a few things you guys might want to be looking at is getting the snowdrift white elephant this is obtained in the guts of carnivora from the agonizer 9000 the reason being this is increases your luck by 17.67 percent this number is going to change based off of the one that you get but this is going to increase your drop chance for legendaries so this is a good artifact to have and where he is on the map is right here as you guys can see we are in guts of carnivora you're going to spawn in this location just make your way all the way up the map all the way to the end you can farm a name boss right here the tink tank he has a chance of dropping a moxie's endowment which is an artifact that gives you increased experience so you can use that one as well but make your way up and you can farm him right here this is moxie's endowment here as you guys can see it gives you 12 percent combat xp so when you're in combat whatever it may be you're going to be getting more experience if you're in the field of leveling up but other than that you're just going to make your way down here and you're going to kill the agonizer 9000 let's go baby how you doing Next piece of gear you're going to want to equip, and I recommend you guys doing this at the beginning and the start of every day that you play. Just make sure you have this activated and activate it frequently because it is a very simple, easy, passive buff to always have on and whatever it may be that you want, whether you want XP or a higher chance of legendaries to drop from the loot pools, you're going to want to go into Tannis's. And by now, you guys know about this Borderlands Science Machine. You're going to go in here, collect all these points, play these little games, and buy these boosters. So you can do the Brain Nanobite for 25% XP, boost or you can do the butt stallion milk for upgraded loot for an hour only one of these can be active at a time so be sure to just select one that you want once that timer's up you can buy another butt stallion or you can get the brain nanobots whatever it may be if you want cash get the cash there's other crazy ones here elemental damage reload speed damage dealt things like that but be sure you activate the science machine before farming as well as get either moxie's endowment for the xp boost or the white elephant and both of these are farmed in the guts of carnivora and you can farm them at the same time over and over again when you save and quit. So let's move on to the two farms that I think are absolutely fun to run. They're a little bit unconventional. Most of you guys have seen some of these, but these ones are super fun and I just love the simple mechanics that they have with them. So let's jump into number one. So in order to get to this location, you're going to go to Eden 6. From there, you're going to go to the Verocious Canopy. Now, as you can see, the Verocious Canopy, there's going to be one fast travel station, which is going to be right here. From there, you're going to go to this named enemy. This is going to be a Hammerlock Hunt quest. Once you can complete it, you can always go back to it and it'll respawn. So you're going to make your way through this pass over here, all the way hugging the left side of the map until you get to that location. Once you make your way here, you're going to see this right here. This is going to be where that named enemy is going to spawn. Deadly Wildlife. And as you can see, here he is right here. And what you're going to do, this enemy is an Easter egg for the Gremlins, the movie. And if you guys don't know about the Gremlins, if you add water or they touch water of any kind, they duplicate. So this is why this farm is really good. So what you're going to want to do is have a weapon that has a cryo effect on it. As you can see, I have this one. And when you shoot him, he's going to start duplicating. There he goes. There's another one here. There's three. Look on our mini-map over there, and you can see that they just start duplicating consistently. And from here, you're going to have a loot drop chance from each and every one of these guys. The beauty of this farm is you don't have to save and quit and reload. You can kill every single one, leave one remaining, duplicate it, and continue on. So we're going to go, and we're just going to keep duplicating these guys. And as you can see, they have cryo resist on that. And as you can see, we'll kill one, kill two. We've got some legendaries. Three, four. There's another one. And you can pretty much do this farm indefinitely. That's the beauty of it. No having to worry about save quitting. As you can see, we got all our stuff here. 
all these legendaries just keep dropping from these guys so as you guys know named enemies in borderlands they can drop any piece of loot from the world loot pool but they also have a 10 percent chance for their specific weapon this enemy's 10 percent chance increase is specific to the unending magnificent as you guys can see right here this weapon is pretty good you can get it in cryo you can get it in shock whatever it may be and it is also a beautiful weapon. But also, they just have a chance to drop any weapon from the world loot pool. It's an easy way to gain XP, Iridium, Cash, whatever it may be. And now with the easy selling of weapons in this game, you just put your tier up and you just go go across the board and you just start selling everything on the ground. You make easy money so you can get those SDU upgrades as well as anything else across the board. So this is just a simple farm I wanted to showcase. Again, this is in the Verocious Canopy located right here from the Fast Travel Station. You'll make your way all the way up. And you'll see it right here. And you can farm this guy indefinitely without having to save and quit. Another amazing farm that some of you guys may already know about is in the Handsome Jackpot. If you guys have Bandor's Box or any of the other DLCs, which I'm sure you have, you probably have this location. You're going to go to the Compactor and you're going to spawn at Trash Lantis. From there, you're going to want to make your way over here on the map. Some of you guys may already know this location and what this farm is. This is one of the best farms in Borderlands 3 in terms of XP, Iridium, as well as there is a high chance of getting good legendaries here and a high rate of legendaries. But overall, it's just a great way to boost XP as well as boost money and iridium and why do i keep talking about iridium and why is it such a big deal to have iridium it gives you the ability to buy all those crazy stuff from crazy earl the beautiful thing about this farm too is on your way there and when you're doing this farm there also is a named enemy right outside of this location that you can farm as well gonna make our way down this beautiful beautiful trash pile of an area as you guys can see there's a fast travel location right here a spawn location from here you're gonna open up this i can't believe that was 291 million to open that jeez louise and we're going to just kill this fella right here really quick. He's got a healing drone on. Cosmetic. Ooh, teething stuff. Don't care about any of this. So this is where the farm is going to begin. Right here. I'll show you guys where it is on the map. So you're going to spawn at Trash Lantis right here at the center of the map. And you're going to make your way all the way over to here in this location. Once in here, this is where the boss farm is going to happen. This is a beautiful farm. Most of you guys probably already know what it is. This is a Scrap Trap Nest Farm. This one's absolutely insane. So to start off, you're going to have to kill a bunch of small little clap traps. Scrap traps as they're called. Once you kill all of them, a big scrap trap is going to spawn. Scraptrum is prime. Obviously, the higher your mayhem level, the better loot and the better everything you're going to get. So as you guys can see, scrap trap prime has spawned. Let's let's revive ourselves. Okay. Here he is here. So you can kill him. Don't worry about killing him. There he is. He's dead. Bye, scrap trap prime. As you guys can see, ton of iridium, ton of cash. The beautiful thing about it is when you're done with this farm all you need to do is go out to this container in the back side of this area walk over to here for a few seconds on this ledge count to like three or five run back in and everybody's in a spawn once again as you guys can see you can just aim at the ground run around sell all this loot if you want there's a lot of Iridium and cash that's going to spawn, so selling loot is not really that big of a deal. And as you guys know, in Borderlands, money is so easy to come by in this title. Like, I don't know. We need we need something to do with our money. We need something to do with our money. But as you can see, I'm getting some Iridium here. We're getting legendaries. We're getting a ton of drops. We leveled up, and it's just easy, fast XP. I just wanted to showcase two of my favorite simple unconventional farms when it comes to Borderlands 3 because as you guys know there are focus farming where you want a specific piece of gear so you farm that named enemy you farm that boss whatever it may be across the board just to get that piece of gear but when it comes to cash iridium and xp overall these are the fastest methods sure you can go and farm grave ward or a boss over and over and over again and you will get a massive boost in xp but if you want to expand your wallet with iridium and cash this is a great way to do it as well and i just think they're fun going up in the mayhem levels adding mayhem modifiers i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're into everything borderlands be sure to subscribe to the channel because that's what this channel is all about we are gearing up grinding every borderlands title in the franchise getting ready for borderlands 4 i appreciate every single one of you guys and as always stay happy stay hyped and good luck looting